This topic explains the logged event codes function within the Caterpillar Electronic Technician, or ET. Logged event codes allow you to view information tracked by the electronic control modules, or ECMs. This information is typically used for warranty verification and for reviewing how the equipment has been operated. An example of a tracked event for a 3176 engine is engine overspeed. During normal operation of an engine, this event may occur a few times. However, a high number of occurrences of this type of an event may indicate operator problems. Many people find it difficult to differentiate between active or log diagnostic codes and active or logged event codes. Active or log diagnostic codes point a service technician to a specific component on a Caterpillar product that requires attention and maintenance. An example of this would be a failing sensor. Active or logged event codes alert the operator or service person that there is an abnormal condition occurring which could cause possible damage to the Caterpillar product. An example of this type of event would be engine overspeed, which could indicate misuse on the part of the operator. To access logged events, click on the logged event codes icon on the toolbar or select events from the diagnostics menu and then select logged event codes from the cascading menu. Notice the display area on the screen. This is where the information logged by the ECM is displayed for the user. Each logged event shows a code, the number of occurrences, the first occurrence, and the last occurrence. The logged events code display area groups the codes according to the ECM from which they are retrieved. They appear in chronological order by the most recent ECM hour of last occurrence. The ECM names appear as subtitles in the list. If there is more than one ECM connected, the subtitles are arranged alphabetically. On the same line as the ECM subtitle, the number of ECM diagnostic clock hours is displayed. These hours represent the amount of time that the ECM has been connected and running. When the Include All ECMs checkbox is checked, logged codes from all available ECMs are retrieved and displayed. When there is a single ECM on the data link, this checkbox is disabled. Another feature of CAT-ET is an opportunity to view a histogram for a logged event code. A button for this option can be found on the logged event code screen. A histogram will be displayed for the event code that was highlighted before you pushed the View Histogram button. The histogram option allows you to see the events in a graphical format, which may enable you to diagnose the situation with more accuracy. Logged event codes are critical in the diagnostic procedure and should not be ignored. These types of situations could prove to be important in the overall well-being and longevity of the Caterpillar product and the safety of the operator. To clear an event code from the screen, select the event you want to clear and click on the Clear button. A window displays prompting you to verify that you want to clear the code. Clearing event codes logged by the onboard electronics may require password authorization. If this is the case, enter the password required and continue. To clear the code, click the Yes button. The logged event code is cleared from the display. This concludes the logged event codes topic. If you would like to view this topic again, click the play button. Click on the menu button to return to the main menu. This topic explains the use of real-time graphing within Caterpillar Electronic Technician, or ET. Real-time graphing allows the user to graphically view data as it occurs. 
To access real-time graphing, select Real-Time Graphing from the Information menu. The Select Graph Set screen displays. This screen allows you to create, change, and delete graph sets. If you select a graph set and click the OK button, the real-time graphing screen displays showing the selected set and its parameters. To create a new set, click the New button. The Maintain Graph Sets window displays. This window is used to add or delete parameters to fit your current graphing needs. If you have multiple electronic control modules, or ECMs, you will need to highlight an ECM in the Available ECMs list box. Then choose the parameters you want to see graphed. Select a parameter in the Available Parameters list box and press the Add button. This moves parameters, one at a time, to the Set list box. If you would like to remove a parameter, select the parameter in the Set list box and press the Remove button. This moves the parameter out of the Set list box. If you are connected to multiple ECMs, choose parameters for additional ECMs by highlighting a different ECM and then repeat the process. Use the scroll bar to view more parameters. To save the group, click the Save As button. If you click the OK button, you will be prompted whether or not to save the group. To save the group, click the Yes button. The Save Graph Set window displays. Type the name of the graph set in the field provided and click the OK button. The Select Graph Set window redisplays. Notice the new graph set displayed in the Select Graph Set list box. The new graph set is automatically highlighted. Click the OK button to view the graph. The Real Time Graphing window displays. There are four major areas on this window. The first area is the ECM title area. This informs you of the name of the graph set you have chosen. The error status text box displays errors that occur while retrieving the parameter value. If more than one error occurs, the text box changes to a drop-down list for viewing all errors. No error present displays if there are no errors. Unable to plot value displays if the selected parameter cannot be plotted. The legend area displays the selected parameters and is above the graph. These parameters are displayed with the corresponding line color. These colors cannot be changed. Parameters with an error will display an asterisk to indicate the parameter error is listed in the error status text box. The status parameter and its unit of value display on the y-axis. These are displayed on each side of the graph. A maximum of six parameters may be selected. These parameters display in the same color as the line and legend. The graph area displays the time in seconds on the x-axis and the minimum and maximum values for each parameter on the y-axis. Parameters which have state values, for example, yes or no, are displayed as dotted lines until the graph begins to trace the parameter's value. Since the real-time graphing window graphs what is happening at a particular moment, the graph changes quickly. 
If you would like to freeze the graph so that you can view the status of the parameters at that instance, click the Hold button. To continue viewing real-time data, click the Resume button. The x-axis represents time in seconds. The y-axis displays the parameter's actual values. To change the graph settings, click the Settings button. The Graph Settings window displays. The Graph Settings window allows you to determine the look of your screen by setting the time which you would like to be displayed in the x-axis and the minimum and maximum of the parameters in the y-axis. Select the time that you want to monitor the parameters in seconds from the x-axis range drop-down list. 10 seconds is default. In the y-axis range area, the status parameters are listed with their minimum and maximum default values. To expand the graph, double-click on the cell and enter a new value. CAT ET will not allow you to enter an out-of-range value in this field. In the Options area, check the options you want to display on the real-time graphing screen. Show Grid displays grid lines on the graph area. Show Symbols displays symbols on the graph lines corresponding to the symbol above the parameter. Click the OK button to accept the setting changes. Click Cancel if you decide not to make the changes. Click the Default button to reset the window to its default settings. The Real-Time Graphing window redisplays. To add additional parameters to the graph, click the Graph Sets button. The Select Graph Set window redisplays. The graph set you were just viewing is automatically selected. To change the parameters for this graph set, click the Change button. The Maintain Graph Sets window displays. As you recall from a prior example, to add a parameter, select it in the left-hand column and click on the Add button. To remove a parameter, select the parameter in the right-hand column and click the Remove button. The item is removed from the parameter list. You can save the changed list under a new name or under the same name. To save under a new name, click the Save As button and type a new name. To save under the existing name, click the OK button. An ET prompt displays asking if you would like to save the graph set under a new name. To save the graph set as the existing name, click the No button. The Select Graph Set window redisplays with the changes. To remove a graph set that you no longer need, select the Graph Set and click on the Delete button. An ET prompt displays asking you to verify that you want to delete the graph set. To confirm that you want to delete the graph set, click the Yes button. The Select Graph Set window is updated.